for, you know, in a, in a set that where you're likely slated to lose, you know, just playing better as the set goes on can maybe give you that momentum as you go into losers, so, you know, it still has uh, plenty, to, plenty to play for here. 3-0, but you'll, you'll love to see it, you know, hanging in there. So right now, oh, banger right here. Chamchu versus Amsa. Oh. Chamchu, uh, former Georgia player. We lived in like South Carolina, then he lived in Georgia for a year or so, and then he moved back to South Carolina. Yeah. Uh, we love this guy though. Samus player, he has a pocket box fox. He'll pull out the box in a yeah. set. He's a, he's a, uh, he's like a Southeast journeyman. Yes. Know, like everyone, everyone in the South, Southeast kind of knows Chamchu as just the, the, the lovable Samus, you know? But yeah, curious, curious how he's gonna do here against Samsa. Don't don't have too much knowledge on the uh, on Samus Yoshi. Sam, Samus, Samus Samus Yoshi, yeah. Kind of a crazy one, a little bit wacky. Chamchu looking locked in though. Here in a, a let's go Chamchu from the crowd, dude. He's got he's got people out here. Oh yeah, Chamchu's got Chamchu's fans. definitely got got shooters all around the building. Like I mentioned, been in uh, been in all the states in the southeast. Uh, everyone, you know, left a good mark in all the states that he's been in. So definitely uh, hoping for for a, a good performance against you know one of the favorites to win the tournament. Also, uh, you know, just of course, oh, obviously that guy's just crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, kind of skip. Kinda doesn't skip doesn't even need an introduction. Yeah, it kind of skipping over over Omsa to give Champshu a little bit of shine there, but. We already know what this uh, what this Yoshi can can bring to the table, so so let's see. Going uh, game one battlefield. I like the down tilt to start. You know, kind of like heat checking Amsa. You know, like don't just run at me. Um, but Amsa's kind of just getting to run at him. Yeah, already off stage, and you hate to see that. off stage, yeah. Yeah, it's kinda interesting to see how how he's going to sort of rebound from that. I feel like sometimes when you die uh, in a way like that, your first stock of the set, it can sort of either capitulate or, or really sort of plug you in. Sometimes an ST like that can just really snap you uh, to where you need to be, so. That meteor cancel was fast. Okay, getting to the ledge that time. So yes. I'm still picking up the edge guard. Whoa! The, S the ST. Yeah, that's fast gonna close that one out though. But you know, eye for an eye on that one, kinda. Yeah, yeah, that was the, the, the first kill of the set with that, with that down smash. Yeah, and this armor is. I feel like Amsa is. You know, they're trading, kind of, but Amsa is still keeping it so favorable. Accumulating way more damage through these trades. Like, Chamchu's maybe getting a, a little bit of percent on Amsa, but Amsa's getting like two or three piece armor combos out of it. That's what I was thinking about this the other night. I was uh, when I was playing SFOP, I was like, man, like I feel like like I'm trading so much, but because I like I don't I can't do anything but trade, and it's just yeah. is always favorable for him. Like I just you know I can't get like just a good clean opening. It's so it, it's like it can yeah. be hard to turn that around because it feels like you can't get anything else. You know, it's just like oh bad trade, bad trade, bad trade. Yeah, Yoshi, a very scrappy player, kind of really looking for favorable trades. So anytime you have this, the, the Yoshi that really understands like the risk reward of you know what each aerial at each sort of percent can give is just is just really big and I'm clearly seeing that uh you know I'm just having a, a a great sort of frame of how to how to sort of handle the Samus with all of Samus's quirks. Whoa! Definitely. What a snipe! All right, into the edge guard. Amsa, you know, Samus like a notoriously annoying character to edge guard. Amsa's been making it happen. Yeah. Didn't there, but. Ooh. It's so scary that get up attack from the ledge, playing against like low and mid tiers that like have these like wacky animations off the ledge. I just I don't know what you're doing, dude. Yeah, this is a. It's there to ledge, get up attack, nice. Dodges through the egg too, which is crucial there. Homs is looking for a big combo off one of those. There yeah, it is. Going going out there with the with the fair. So Homs is taking game one on, on battlefield. I'm curious if the pick if the pick's gonna be. Maybe VOD or, or Stadium. Uh, maybe trying to get some more missile missileing action, but yeah, VOD. So, on the other stream right now we got um Waffle House versus Mango. There's Roy and Luigi on the screen. I think this Luigi's Mango. Back to this game, though. <laughs> yeah, just a, 
definitely definitely feels uh, correct to, to not notify uh, people. Definitely a fascinating match. Yeah. <laughs> oh, huge egg to up air. Doesn't quite kill. I like Chamchu. Like, Amsa, of course, is top player, like, continuing the, the mix-up tree, but Chamchu's been doing a good job of, like, not immediately hitting Amsa's shield. Like, he's trying to bait out a shield drop or something, yeah. which is the right idea. It's just Amsa's just so good, you know? Yeah, he just, yeah, it's really tough against, against a player that just has, like, a very clear sort of flow chart for, you know, once he's, once one hit goes, just how to sort of create an avalanche, which Yoshi can definitely do. Uh, Yoshi has a more difficult time doing it against floaty characters, especially someone like Samus is just generally really tricky and has a lot of sort of quirks to get out of combos and they deal with their upbeat, but almost is just really... It's looking like really a killer, man. Yeah, also these eggs look like an excellent just counter to the bombs. Whoa, wow. that egg went so far backwards. Get the up beat. Still, like, he, he just took way more damage from that than Amsa. It's just bad trades. It's, it's hard, though. You know, Yoshi 2 is so good at taking trades and tanking it. It's kind of his whole character. Another another off screen snipe from Amsa. He is making Cham Chu work so hard to get back. Was a little bit more ready, like he, like you know, held away. Was a little bit more ready for Ops's counterattack that time. Wow. Yeah. What a what a, what a nutty interaction there. Uh, one thing I gotta say is just I love seeing matchups like this, just because you know I feel like just in general the average melee spectator viewer player just doesn't exactly know what's going on. So there's just a, a nice sense of intrigue and surprise when you know right. seeing seeing two mid tiers that are you know playing well just sort of doing their thing. So. Definitely cool. I feel like uh, I feel like there's not, not a crazy amount of you know just S Samus Yoshi sets that everyone just thinks of at the top of their head. You know what I'm saying? Right. Hugs Amsa though when Hugs got top eight of Genesis. Crazy one. Crazy one. Ooh, fairing through the the egg. That was super good. Yeah, I'm curious how uh, how Champion's gonna sort of utilize the space of space of Dreamland. Yeah. I think it was a good pick though. It did kind of look like like that whole last game, like Champchu just didn't have any room to breathe. You know, even right now, like he's having an easier time getting back. You know, has more corner to fight out of, which is kind of a good thing. You know, like you can't just get full on smothered by Yoshi. Yeah, yeah, the other thing is uh, definitely, I'm not seeing too many missiles, I would say, in general. I don't know if this is like a product of maybe just the way that Yoshi's egg can sort of make things weird when you're trying to missling or we're trying to do do some missiles, but I feel like um, definitely kind of opting to scrap more rather than maybe stepping away and, and doing some missiles. But... I don't even know if I've seen him charge charge shot yet. Yeah, it just really seems like Champ is just kind of going in, trying to play the trade game, and then doing doing what he can off of that. Oof. I can see a champion making a, a bit of a, of a reaction there as well. Still, still though, I would say playing this game uh, better than the last two. He is doing a good job of catching on to these eggs with aerials, though. He's still eating some damage off that edge guard, but he's at least just not getting. Oh, commentator's curse. Yeah. Just... Quickly snapping the ledge, making it easy. That was so good. He did turn around down smash there so that the second hit hit the roll in. That was super. This guy's on. This guy's next level. Yeah. Classic Yoshi wow. game. That one hurts to get hit by. Yeah, I gotta say, even you know, even though Omsa's maintained the lead the entire time, I feel like Omsa's really played their played their hand really well. He's definitely throwing in a lot of tricky mix-ups, especially on the on the edge guards and getting his kills. You know, just showing that like how much having a deep bag of tricks can, can really can really push you in a set. Champ two taking another stock though. Hold in there. Hold it holding it down for the for the southeast. For South Carolina, shout out South Carolina. Shout out South Carolina. I love those guys. These nares, wow, 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 wow. 
That was a huge combo at the end. It's impressive to see like a Yoshi be able to combo Samus like that. I feel like it like speaks to Ops' movement, the way he's able to maneuver the platforms and like keep yeah. the little strings going. I feel like there's just so cool much stuff. to worry about there uh, when approaching Samus and definitely didn't seem afraid. It seemed uh, unfazed. Of, unfazed by any of the trades or, cl or clanks or just sort of general weirdness that Samus can provide. It seems like Omsa just had really solid answers for everything. 